Hello Peaches, welcome back to Dear Peachy. Contact lenses are popular for many reasons. People find them more comfortable compared to eyeglasses. Besides that, they are more fashionable too. Contact lenses, especially the colored ones, are an easy and fun way to spice up your style completely. It can not only be used to enhance your look, it also lets you express your emotions without using your lips. After all, our eyes speak louder than words. However, choosing the ones that suits you is important, or you may end up looking like a husky. Color contacts have varying effects on people, and a great deal of this depends on its design features. Just like all glass frames don't suit everyone. The same goes for color contact lenses. You might find yourself in a dilemma whenever you're trying to decide on which colored contact lenses to wear. In this guide, let us guide you to pick the best color that will work for you. This video will be divided into the different parts. Please refer to the timestamp for the following sections. Before we begin, let's get to know a few terms about the features of the colored lens. First, opacity. Opacity here represents the ability of the colored lens to merge with your natural eye color to cover it completely. You can tell the colored lens opacity by looking at the tiny colored pixels or dots on it. The more pixels you see, the more opaque it is. Diameter, the size of the entire colored lens. Graphic diameter, which is the size of the colored section of the lens. Both the diameter and graphic diameter will affect the visual appearance of the size of the lens. There are a few important points that you should keep in mind when it comes to picking the perfect pair of lens. The opacity of the lens play a major role in affecting how the lens will look on our eyes. You can actually roughly identify if the colored lens will look good on you by looking at the lens display picture. Check out the arrangement of the colored pixels. If the colored pixels are arranged in scattered manner, and the size of the pixels are small, high chances that the color of these lens will not be pigmented enough for your iris. Hence, these lenses will not be able to cover up your natural eye color, and it will look less obvious on your eyes. Colored lens with high opacity will cover our natural eye color completely, and creates a strong contrast between the color of the lens and our eyes. Picking the right pair of colored lens will be able to enhance your features and boost your confidence. However, choosing the ones that are not suitable for you will do the opposite. If you are interested in knowing how to select the best pair of colored lens for yourself, keep on watching! The color and the ring designs of the lens shouldn't be the only aspects that you are paying attention to when it comes to finding your perfect pair of colored lens. We must take note of our facial features during the search of it. We will further divide this section of our video into two smaller parts. Part 2A is to discuss selecting colored lens based on your facial features, while Part B talks about picking the right pair according to your skin tone and style. Let's start with the nose. If the proportion of your nose is bigger than the other facial features, you will need to stay away from colored lens that are too light for your eyes. In this example that is shown here, you can see that wearing light or dark colored lens will give different visual impact to our facial features. On the left, is with the light colored lens and right, is with dark colored lens. According to the Chinese beauty expert, light colored lens will tend to highlight the size of our nose visually. This is because it creates a strong color contrast between the color of your eyes and your nostrils. Thus, it separates the visual level between them and making the nose to look more prominent. On the other hand, dark colored lens has closer color tone with the nostrils and the natural shadows on our nose bridge. Hence, the contrast between them is lowered and making them look more together visually. The nose will not stand out from the other features. If you have bigger nose, light colored lens will not be the best choice for you as it will intensify the visual perception of the size of your nose. The same theory also applies for wide nose flare, nose bridge, and bulbous nose tips. Our eyes play a big role in picking the right pair of colored lens. Do you know that the color of the lens can affect the visual impression of the distance between our eyes? Take a look at these two pictures here. Which side of these pictures show that her eye distance is wider? Comment below and tell us what you think. Actually, the left with light colored lens has stronger apparent impression in reducing the distance between eyes, while the dark colored lens tends to make wide set eyes to look more obvious. Have you ever heard that wearing dark colored clothes will make you look slimmer? 
but lighter color outfit will make you look bigger. Well, this theory actually applies on colored lens too. Light colored lens has visual expanding effect. Both eyes and eye distance are placed in the same horizontal line. When the size of the iris is expanded visually, even if the eye distance remains the same, the distance will still look closer relatively. On the contrary, dark colored lens has visual contracting effect. Same as the explanation mentioned just now, it causes the eye distance that is on the same horizontal line to look wider instead. So if you're someone who has wide set eyes, choose light colored lens that has wider graphic diameter. For close set eyes, choose dark colored lens with smaller graphic diameter. Picking colored lens based on your eye's distance is actually making use of its relativity. For instance, if you have two objects that are with the same size, both are not bigger or smaller than one another. But if you make one of it to become smaller, the other object will then appear to be bigger, as the smaller object set against a strong contrast to the other object. Wearing dark colored lens will contract the visual size of your iris, so your eye's distance will then become wider relatively. But what if you have wide set eyes, and the proportion of your nose is bigger than the other features, as one of it suggests wearing light colored lens, but dark colored lens suits wider nose? How should we decide? In this case, you will be required to judge it for yourself. Look at your eyes and your nose, which one you would like to enhance more. Once you have made up your mind, pick one and wear the colored lens that accentuate your features the most. Other than that, if your iris size is small, colored lens with no outer ring will not be suitable for you. To know that if you have small iris, look at the ratio of your sclera to your iris. The ratio should be in 1 to 2 to 1. Any figure below 2 is considered a small iris size. Colored lens with no outer ring can only help to give another layer of color on your iris, but it doesn't help in dilating the size of your iris. Wearing such colored lens on small iris will cause the layer of color to overextend the sclera. Due to the absence of the outer ring, these lenses will tend to make you look like you are giving the glassy-eyed stares. If you really wish to try on some light colored lenses, always remember to pick those with outer rings so your eyes will be ready to shine. Besides that, finding the colored lens with graphic diameter that suits your eyes depends on the size of our iris too. Back to the ratio of iris to sclera that we mentioned just now. Observe your iris and sclera. If the total proportion of your sclera is bigger than your iris, it means that the size of your iris is small. For anyone who has smaller iris, it will tend to make one look fiercer and cooler. Well, if the opposite, the proportion of iris is bigger than sclera. It means that you have bigger iris. This is usually uncommon among majority of people, but there are still some who has it. Such eyes are always called as the manga eyes by the Chinese, because they are bright and magnetic like the manga characters. When the proportion of both iris and sclera is somewhat similar, it means that it is very close to the ideal ratio. If you would like to achieve for bigger eyes look but you have smaller size iris, you should go for colored lens which has bigger graphic diameter to enhance your eyes. Next, let's dive into how should we pick colored lens according to the proportion of our iris. There are two things that we need to take note of. The total diameter or it is usually called as the DI in the product description. It is the total length of the colored lens. And the graphic diameter. It is the total length of the colored ring of the lens. When we are picking colored lens, you will need to pay more attention to the graphic diameter instead of the total diameter. The total diameter normally ranges from 13.8 to 14.5 mm. Diameter of 13.8 will be more suitable those who has smaller eyes proportion or elongated eye shape. 14 to 14.2 suits most people. If you are a newbie in colored lens, you can definitely start from here. 14.5 is suitable for those who has bigger eyes proportion. We have attached the pictures to show you the comparison between the different diameters. For graphic diameter, it normally ranges from 12 to 13.8 mm. Let's start with the lowest graphic diameter, 12 mm. If you have bigger iris, the 12 mm lens will not be able to give the iris enlarging effect on you, but it can help to add more shine to your eyes and change the color of your iris. For anyone who has smaller iris size, this 12 mm lens might not be a friendly choice for you, as it gives the CSN by eyes, which also called as the lower three whites in Chinese. It generally means that the white space below and above the iris is revealed. 
12.6 mm. It also doesn't have any enlarging effect on bigger size iris, and only able to cover the natural eye color with the lens color. However, this diameter is a great option for those who has monolid or smaller size iris. 12.9 mm. It can add more shine and glossiness to bigger size iris. Nonetheless, this would be the best option for smaller iris size beauties. It has very natural enlarging effect on small iris, and it looks great in real life as it is just like your real eyes. This will be the perfect graphic diameter for daily wear to work or school. Next up, 13.2. 13.2 will be the most friendly graphic diameter for everyone, no matter you have small or big iris size. It enlarge our iris naturally and the color of the lens will still able to merge with our natural eye color seamlessly. For beauties with bigger size iris, you can select lens with graphic diameter of 13.2 and above. On the other hand, the smaller size iris can select lens with graphic diameter of 13.2 and below. 13.4 mm For monolid beauties, you might need to keep in mind that never go beyond 13.4 mm, especially colored lens with dark color outer ring. The enlarging effect of these lenses might overpower your eyes, and they will look unnatural on you. 13.6 mm it suits people with medium or bigger size eyes. It is the perfect for occasions that you wish to emphasize your eyes, such as photo shooting sessions for your ID photos or grad pictures. 13.8 mm. This is the widest graphic diameter, and it has the biggest iris enlarging effect. The Chinese girls often called this lens as the Munga Eyes lens. If you normally wear 14.5 mm diameter, this 13.8 graphic diameter will hardly go wrong on you. However, People with smaller eyes or elongated eye shape might not find this lens flattering. It suits round shape eyes, and it can emphasize your eyes and making you look like a manga character. Before we proceed, we need to tell you that it's not all about the bigger the better. It's not always choosing the largest graphic diameter will be the best choice for you. You should choose according to your style. Some people will prefer smaller graphic diameter because they want to exude cool and mysterious style while some wants prefer the alluring and cute style. So colored lens with bigger graphic diameter will go better with this style. It's all up to you. Own your style and rock them. Not only the eyes, but we also bet that you never thought your brow color can affect your choice in colored lens. For anyone who has dark, full or thick eyebrows and eyelashes, you should try to avoid dark colored lens. Wearing dark colored lens and wide graphic diameter can cause the visual impression of overcrowding of your facial features. To accentuate your features, you can try to pick lens which are in amber or brown tones. These color choices can help to weaken the color intensity of your brows and eyelashes, thus bringing out the beauty of balance from them. Oh yes, there is another thing that we would like to remind our peaches. As we all know that wearing colored lens will somehow affect how we look, but we must emphasize that the impact of the difference that it brings to your visual is very minute. Although colored lens doesn't change how we look visually, it certainly can help to accentuate our styles better. So coming to our next part, we will discuss how to choose colored lens based on your style. Before we start to pick, let's divide colored lens into two main types. The cool tone colored lens and the warm tone colored lens. Take a look at these pictures shown here. We can see that there are warm and cool colors. The cool tone colored lens is mostly made up from the blue or purple tones. Its color is mostly extended from the sky blue undertones. On the other hand, the warm tones are extended from the earth yellow undertones. The brown tone colored lens is also categorized under the warm tone colored lens. Picking the right warm or cool tone colored lens that suits your style is actually more important than getting the right design pattern. However, most colored lens available in the market actually consists of both cool and warm tone colors. This is because colored lens is made up of different layers of colors. So there is no absolute warm or cool colored lens. What we need to do is to check out the main color composition of the colored lens to identify whether it is cool or warm tone. For instance, the design pattern of these lenses is very similar, but you can tell that there are warm and cool tone colored lens. The left one is actually the cool tone colored lens. Selecting the warm or cool tone colored lens that best suit your style can help to level up your whole look. To know if the cool or warm tone colored lens suits you better, you will need to find out your own skin tone. If you're still struggling to understand your skin tone, we have an in-depth guide to help you find yours. Once you've identified your skin tone, 
you can easily find colored lens that suits you within the warm or cool tone colored lens. Just like the same concept in finding your best lipstick shade. Warm tone skin will look great in warm tone colored lenses. Cool tone colored lens will flatter the cool skin tone better. Besides that, we can also match the color of the lens with the eyeshadow. There are some important points that you will need to remember when matching the color of the lens with eyeshadow. First, try to pick a lens and eyeshadow that are from the same color range. For example, if your eyeshadow is warm tone colors, your colored lens should be from the warm tone range as well. Second, try to pick colors that are similar within the color range. For example, if you are wearing honey brown colored lenses, you should go for green color eyeshadow. By doing so, the color scheme of your entire look will look more harmonized and balanced. However, if you pick colored contacts and eyeshadow that are highly contrastable and not within the same color range. For instance, burn orange eyeshadow match with blue colored lens. It is hard for makeup newbies or ordinary people like us to pull off that look. However, if you are confident with your style, you can surely wear anything you want. Once you have figured out the best colored lens that suits you, you are almost good to go. There are some crucial things that you will need to pay attention before making your purchase. First thing first, make sure you only purchase colored lens from licensed manufacturers. We know that colored lenses do not come with a cheap price tag, but never put your eyes health at risk. Check the manufacturer's details before buying them. If you experience any irritation or pain from wearing it, please seek help from the professionals such as optometrists or ophthalmologists. Colored lens varies in designs and size, but do you know that there are different materials too? The materials of the colored lens available in the market usually are the hydrogels, the silicon hydrogels, and the non-ionic lens. If your eyes are not really sensitive to any materials, you can go for the hydrogel lens as they are the most affordable compared to others. If your eyes have frequent discharge, the non-ionic lens will be better for you. Silicon hydrogel is currently the best material in the market. Its oxygen permeability is five times higher than the ordinary hydrogel materials, and its moisturizing effect is very good, so it is relatively less expensive than other materials. Next, the base curve of the lens. The BC or base curve measurement indicates the back curvature of your contact lens in millimeters. This is important for comfort, as the BC of your contact lenses should match your eye's natural curve as closely as possible. To ensure a better fit when you are wearing your contact lenses, base curve at 8.4 to 8.7 suit most people. If you are unsure of your base curve, you can seek advice from your optometrist about this. The last thing is to look at the water content of the color lenses. Higher water content colored lens will ensure great comfort and compatibility. But it does not mean that the higher the water content of the color lens is, it is the better. If you are going for six month or yearly disposables, it is suggested to pick lens with lower water content for those who wear them often or in air conditioned rooms frequently. Please refer here to the level of water content of the colored lens. After knowing these parameters, you can either look them up in the official websites or at the packaging box. If you wear color contact lenses on a daily basis, it is recommended to choose the monthly or yearly disposables. The monthly and yearly disposables are a more affordable options in a long run, and they are also the most durable ones. You can choose the daily disposable if you're just wearing it for special occasions or on a less frequent basis, because the daily disposable are the most comfortable to wear. Out of the three types, daily lenses require the least amount of upkeep. Every day, you can open a new pack of contacts and dispose of the used pair before calling it a day. However, it would help if you made sure that you always have a sufficient number of fresh lenses. Both yearly and monthly contact lenses require more upkeep. After using for the day, you must rinse, clean and disinfect your contacts with contact lens cleaning solution before storing them away in their cases. Not only do you have to follow the maintenance regime religiously, but you also have to change the contact lens solution regularly. It is recommended to use only 8 months for the yearly disposables and 4 months for the 6 months disposables. No matter what color you get, make sure to take proper care of your contacts. Color contact lenses provide an easy way to change up your looks. We hope that our video is able to provide constructive guides in helping you to pick out the best colored lens that suits you. It can be used as a guide to help you pick which color contact lens to wear. 
but there's no right or wrong color for you. So don't be afraid to try out different colors and just have fun. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again. Goodbye.